This is Mo Mackey, and you are watching another episode of Studio Time. Let's get it. Today, I want to talk about the Studer A800. And this is Luna's tape machine emulation. It's very good at replicating the saturation of these particular tape machines. So let's just get right into it. So right here, as you can see, we have the Studer A800. And I will press this little view button right here in the middle, and it will bring it up right here on my left. Now, if you look under the tape machine right here, you have a bunch of different presets they already have for you. You know, for acoustics, bass, blues, just a wide variety of, of different things you can select and then, you know, go from there. All right, so I have the tape machines basically on everything, um, but we're gonna focus on the main vocal of the hook. So let's open the window. I'll play it with. Hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch, move fast. Hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch, move fast. Without. Hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch, move fast. Hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch, move fast. Hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch, I move fast. Hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch, I move fast. Again, like I've shown before, saturation, it just gets it, makes it a little thicker um, when it adds that saturation to it. And I have it on, uh, on, on zero right now. Hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch, I move fast. Hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch, I move fast. You also have plenty more options with this tape machine. So if I click on this little button, down arrow button right here, it gives me more options. So it pretty much has an, an EQ down here, a high filter, driver, bias, high frequency, and low frequency. So if I move these around, I can pretty much EQ right here from the tape machine. Hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch, I move fast. Hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch, I move fast. Hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch, I move fast. Hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch, I move fast. And I like bias because, as you can hear, bias can give you all kinds of cool effects um, that I typically wouldn't use on a main, but like on backgrounds or, or if I want something sounding fuzzy, I'll go straight for this rather than you know having to put another plug-in on it. I could just do it straight from a, from the tape machine. Hitting the switch. Hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch, I move fast. Hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch, I move fast. Hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch, I move fast. Hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch, I move fast. Hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch, I move fast. Hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch, I move fast. Hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch, I move fast. So, you know, right from the plugin, you can get all kinds of cool EQ effects. But then not only do you have those options, of course, you have the big saturation knob up here on top. Hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch, I move fast. Hitting the switch, hitting which just the increases gas, and bitch, decreases, increases and decreases the amount of saturation that you can put on it. But you could also turn your tape machine off and on right here with the power button. Um, you also have a different tape types. So pay attention to the red tape right here. If I switch it, it's going to change my tape type. You got uh, from the 250 to the 456, the 900, and then the GP9. GP9 is what I have on here currently. IPS is your inches per second. So this is going to be the speed of the tape. So if I play it, hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch. and I move the knob, you'll see the, the tape speed change. Hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch, I move fast. Hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch, I move fast. Hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch, I move fast. Hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch, I move fast. And as you can hear, it changes the way it sounds um, just by switching the, the, you know, the inches per second of how fast the tape machine is moving. Hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch, I move fast. Then you also have your calibration here. You can set it from plus three, six, seven point five, and nine, which will also change the sound. And I'll move it as I play it. Hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch, I move fast. Hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch, I move fast. 
Hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch, and move fast. Hitting the switch. But that's not it. You also have more. If you hit open, you can open up the tape machine, right? And you can change the input and the output of how much, you know, how much volume it's getting and how much output it's putting out. Uh, this helps greatly if you're trying to stress the tape machine by increasing the input and lowering the output. It'll give you more of uh, more of the analog feel. So let's let's take a look. Listen. Hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch, move fast. Hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch, move fast. Hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch, move fast. Hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch, move fast. Now you can also unlink them. Right, now, what I just did, they were linked together, but you can unlink them as well, and uh, you know adjust for each one. Hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch, move fast. Hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch, move fast. Hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch, move fast. You also have your noise, because in the real world, <laughs> but with real tape machines, all tape machines have a noise floor, right? So if you put the noise in there, you can have the, the noise of the tape machine. If you take it out, you can take the noise away. Um, sometimes it's good if, I, I like to use it if if the song sounds like it's an older song or if i want it to sound more vinyl sounding then i'll definitely have all my tape machines with all the noise on every single one of them um but in this case i have it off because this is this really isn't that kind of a song you also have auto calibrate numbers so i mean calibrate switch so it'll auto cal for you um and like you see over here on this side where it brings up the 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 eq section the same thing on this on on this so those are all the good old options that you get here. And then of course, at the bottom, you have all your different kind of presets. Hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch, move fast. Hitting the switch, hitting the gas, bitch, move fast. Hitting the switch, hitting the gas. And presets are great for if you wanna, if, if you're not sure what you wanna do, you can click around, get a basic idea. And then from there, change what you want to change uh, on the tape machine. Now, this tape machine isn't just exclusive to Luna. You could use this tape machine on any plugin, not the way that they have it set up here, where they have a specific uh, part in the GUI for a tape machine. But the actual plugin, you can still, you know, use in, in any any doll. You don't even have to use it how I'm using it here on the actual GUI. If you wanted to use it uh, in the insert. You can do that as well. They give you that option. But it's pretty cool that they have it to where the tape machines are already here at the top. And it's not using the processing power from your interface or your satellite. Uh, these are using the process processing power from your computer. So you have that option either or. But this is Mo Mackey, and you've watched another episode of Studio Time. I hope you've learned something today, and I will catch you on the next one. Oh, 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 oh,